this tutorial is for this pretty uh, tag cluster and comes with loads of things pretty things inside and I will show you now how I make it it comes with different tags options so that's I've created for Mother's Day so it says happy Mother's Day there is thank you happy birthday with love and an extra blank one it comes with this little card and a luggage tag cute little stamp there's a pretty card here an envelope with a matching insert that's a cash envelope and on this side you've got a jewelry holder i've put a necklace inside so um, i'm cutting these two bits here and putting the rest of the necklace inside here is another tag another tag <laughs> another pretty one it's an envelope here with a card inside matching card and a pretty paper to match so let me show you how i make this put this aside so i'm starting with the actual main and tag it's these two pieces i'm sticking back to back and then the pockets uh, on top of it so i've trimmed everything in advance and to make this video goes quicker even if it doesn't match exactly we can trim the axis at the end so when I trim this <coughs> beforehand I made sure that um, I'm cutting really near the edge and so when you come to stick <clears throat> then it's always gonna match perfectly okay, so that's a bit done <clears throat> these are the pockets this one will go on this side and the other two at the back I'm gonna quickly fold the flaps And while I've got this here, I'm gonna quickly just fold the other bits. I will stick them later. As you can see, I'm keeping pieces together so I know what goes with what because the patterns are um, all looking the same so from to avoid confusion i'm just leaving i'm cutting these bits at the end so i know what goes with what so this is folded i've used ivory uh, paper atgsm um, just for the uh, first page which is the actual tag i've used 120 gsm so it's a bit uh, thicker these bits oops these bits I'm um, gonna cut using the black lines. You can try to create, to go over it twice to get rid of the black line, but the necklace is gonna cover it anyway. So 
there is this dotted line here. And there is the envelope to crease as well. There's only sticking left to do now. Comparing to the other kits I make, probably that's the easiest. Uh, it's my new favorite now. So simple yet pretty. <laughs> okay, so I'm going over the folds right now. just checking that I don't have any leftovers in here because <clears throat> they are going to show okay so you can stick them however you like but um, in my sample I've stuck this one on the front so I'm going to apply glue to the flaps only If you've cut them really near the edge, it should fit perfectly one on top of each other. <clears throat> so that's one side done. And <clears throat> this bit goes first and this will go on top here. push it all the way to the bottom aligning it on all three sides and now this bit is going to go on top My fold here wasn't perfect, but because it's all pink, it's not going to show much. And this bit done. Now I'm going to stick the other bits and then we can slide everything into the pockets. So, let me think. Oh yes, this piece is, I'm going to use as the backing for the envelope. I had enough room on the file to create a full coverage of this um, of the backing, so that's good. And I'm going to stick glue mainly on this part. There's no need for a lot of glue. This bit as well is on at an 80 GSM. I think that was an 120 GSM paper. There's no need for the backing to be too thick. It's just basically to cover the blank area because it's really nice when it's when you have this double-sided look when you open the envelope. Normally I don't bother to cover all the way to the end. Because no one sees this part anyway, 
oh, I'm gonna let it dry for a bit and then I'm gonna cut this bit um, and now let's take this one Should have folded them first, it's okay. <clears throat> My hands are all sticking out, but this is <clears throat> also done now. The necklace, the chain itself goes in here with a pendant showing bit and this bit here and then the rest you tuck inside and this is backing for the gift bag so that will be comes here and that's a matching paper to go inside <coughs> I'm not gonna make the mistake I did before. I'm gonna fold it first. Get rid of this paper now. Oh, my goodness. I forgot to stick it here before. Let me do this quickly. I'm gonna cheat a bit and just slide it through with a tiny bit of glue. Sometimes I keep these extra pieces here if I need to apply a tiny bit of glue so that one goes here, one goes there. Okay, I, as you can see, I forgot to do this before. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to trim a tiny bit. I want to keep these bits here, so I'm going to trim a tiny bit from here, not enough, a bit more, oh that's annoying, okay so I'm just going to reach the top here, I'm going to apply just a tiny bit of glue and then trim and from the back this would do so I'm gonna make sure I'm here to the top okay no one knows right <laughs> nearly done so 
these are all the extra pieces that came with the file so the paper now you can just arrange everything inside as you like so this goes in here So when you're printing uh, your files, sometimes it's good to read through, see what you've got on the file. So the covers for anything you would like to use slightly thicker paper, um, envelopes or gift bags, uh, ideally on a thinner paper. So you don't have this thick uh, crease here. Uh, tags usually on a thicker card, but sometimes what I do, I just stick um, one to each other. That's another option. So you've got a double-sided um, tag. Let me do one sample quickly. So, so if I've printed them on thinner paper to give this an extra thickness, I just stick them back to back. And then it's even prettier. Sometimes I go over them with a bit of ink pad. I know you can do it with a sponge as well. Um, there are many ways to edge your cards, but that's my quickest way. And then you've got a nice edge around. Oops. Now I'm going to punch this one here. And there you have it. Then you can put any kind of ribbon through. Yep. You can decorate your I'm going to start decorating with some pretty gems. I had some gold around. There you go. Yeah, gold. Definitely gold. And this bit goes here. I'm going to add an extra gold here, just in the middle, between the two roses. And where did I have another one that I wanted to... There we go, that was the one. Gonna put blue. This one you can stick here. You can add lace around if you are combining fabrics. So that's a 3D stickers, mini stickers. I'm gonna stick it to here. We can add a little pearl. Should have done this before. I think on my example, I've stuck one of these little things in here, so I'm going to add an extra one. Here's purple. And from now on you can decorate it as you like. So I'll add a bit of glue or a 3D sticker. And just before, let me put a bit of the glue here. I've done it before for happy Happy Mother's Day, I'm gonna make this one. Oh, I've got a bit of one gold here. Um, I'm gonna make one for birthday. 
And this one, I'm gonna stick, ah, right here. Well done. We've got all these extra bits and pieces where you can uh, add to your book. That will be a happy birthday one. And we can go in here. I'm going to add a ribbon later. And and I'm going to leave it to you now to decorate your yours as you like so I'm just gonna check this all quickly here you're gonna put the necklace and I want this to be on the front just like we did in here good luck and I hope you like it and enjoy it and enjoy making it thank you